We have no clue what we're sipping today. Could be the best thing we've had in a long time, or it could be terrible. Hopefully it's the best thing I put in my mouth so far today. Let's get into it. Welcome to Stuff and Whiskey. I'm Aaron. I'm Josh. We have no clue what we're sipping, but we have drawn this at random from our blind sample pool. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're going to get into it, see what we think about it. We taste this way so that we eliminate all the hype, bias, any kind of preconceived notions we might have about what might be in this glass. Let's get right into it. Oh, I like that. This smells like it smells pretty good. classic bourbon, but good, like sweet, oaky, all the things you think you smell when you would smell bourbon. Yeah, it's kind of jumping out of the glass a little bit. It's coming through with kind of this weird fruity caramel. And when I say weird, I mean in the best way possible. It's like, I don't know whether, it's like the fruit and the caramel are trying to shove their way through the door at the same time. Okay. And I'm not sure which one's winning yet, okay. but they're both present and they're both yeah. really, by the way, pre, every, when somebody says present, like were you in school, were you one of those kids that was said here or did you say present? Here. Really? Did you, you said present. You absolutely said present. I may or may not have. You did. I know it. I know you. You said present. <laughs> Sometimes. You know. You did. Also in the grocery store or something, like instead of saying excuse me, I'll say pardon me. I know you do that, and I really like that, and I've tried to start doing that as well, because I mm -hmm. feel like it sounds more polite. Yeah, it does. So I actually have noticed that. So you're pro-pardon, but anti-present. I'm not anti-present. But I you saw it. You know she is. But I will say the people, hearts, the people, won't. the kids at that time, the kids that said present were kind of snobby. You think I'm snobby? I'm not saying you were snobby. I'm saying my experience in elementary school with the kids that would say present were kind of snobby people. Not saying that was you. I didn't know you in elementary school. You could have been not snobby. I just did it because nobody else was doing it. That, that checks out as well. All right. This smells great. It smells like good bourbon. Yeah. Got I've a, got nothing more to add. It's got here. a really nice sweet oak caramel. It's kind of got like this general like fruit uh, fruit salad. Not fruit salad. Yeah. Like a, what's the stuff with the syrup and stuff in it? Oh, oh my gosh. We've it's had like this. It's like a fruit cup. Fruit cocktail. Yeah, it's That's like a fruit cocktail kind of sweetness. It's just got a bunch of different types of fruit sweetness. That's what's on the nose. Let's get into the palate. I think you put that in my head, Ricky Bobby. You put that juju in my head about the fruit cocktail. You're welcome. Because that's what I taste. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit of everything on this. I'm getting the fruitiness. I'm getting a little bit of a nuttiness. Kind of like a... Nuttiness? Yeah. Kind of like a candy bar. I did, for full disclosure, I did swallow weird that time. <laughs> like, I was... I kind of... You don't see this on camera, but I, I put the whiskey in my mouth and I kind of roll it around a little bit. If you want to Google the Kentucky Chew, I do a version of that. Okay. Um, and then when I went to the swallow, Kentucky roll. I did, yeah, the Tennessee, the Tennessee tumble is what we call it <laughs> okay. around here. Yeah. Did, did old, you just make that up on the spot? Yeah, I did. I love it. Do the old Tennessee tumble on it. Okay. And then usually it ends up <laughs> near the back, and then I go down the gullet with it. But that one it came from the front, and so if it, you guys know, you know what I'm thinking. <laughs> what he just said. All right, you can so, put it in text over here. Anyways, I just, it, I, I'm not getting a great read on that because Let's sip it, it again. was a, okay. Yeah, okay. That's, I need a Stop second. Stop talking. Start sipping. I need a second first sip. It's more dry on the second sip for me. Not bad, but drying. Ooh. Doesn't taste young. I'm getting some weird flavors in here. Really? Yeah, I'm getting like a. Um, it's not sweet anymore. Yeah, it, it's not as sweet as I would like it to be. And on the nose, it was coming through like a bourbon. On the palate, it's kind of coming through like it might be a rye to me. Oh. It's, it's yeah. And maybe that's hey, what hey. threw me maybe. at the first sip Perhaps. because it came through with like this kind of encompassing spice mm. on the palate. And I didn't think what it smelled like would have that in it. Yeah. However, here it is. There's a mintiness or mm -hmm. there's a mintiness on the back end. It could be a high ride bourbon. I mean, that's just where my head's going. Yeah. And I'm just trying to figure out what it is, not to figure out what it is, but to kind of assess it for what it is. Mm -hmm. So overall, I mean, it seems like it's got a pretty decent proof point on it. It's not coming through super low proof. I mean, it's drinking up in the mm -hmm. one oh somethings, maybe even in the one teens. You think it's that high? It, it could be. Yeah, but the, it, again, if it's got rice spice in it, that could be throwing me off. But it's it's got this really nice barrel char 
situation going on. What does that mean? I want to say smoky, but when you say that, it misleads people Correct. into thinking it's like a smoked, like a peated scotch. Right. But There's it's like got, a savory element there? Can yeah. savory? Yeah. Is that applicable? Okay. Yeah, and that kind of reads as barrel char to me. Gotcha. Because I like how that. else in the world would new make distillate that gets put in a barrel for all those years get that type of note mm -hmm. from the char from the barrel yeah. not from the wood itself because the wood imparts like sweetness and oakiness yeah. and all that so for me the nose smelled sweet the first sip tasted sweet the second and third sip the sweetness is gone and i'm getting like a powerful mintiness which i like i don't know if i love i don't know how i feel about this <laughs> Yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of got like this. It's like you took a stick of juicy fruit gum and you rubbed it on the inside of a charred oak barrel that had been soaked with alcohol and then you chewed the gum. Like I'm getting all that type of stuff going on in here. So you're getting more sweetness than I am, I think. Um, It's not like the first five seconds of the juicy fruit stick. It's like the five to ten seconds of the juicy fruit stick. Okay. Like the, some of the sweetness has died off. Okay. I'm just saying it's those flavors, yeah, yeah. just not in that. Okay, amount of fair. sweetness cool. like if there was a diet juicy fruit <laughs> like something with less sugar content than the regular okay that's kind of what i'm getting off of this gotcha. so what, what do you think where you at i'm gonna give it just okay it's yeah. fine i don't know i just it's not hitting me tonight the way i want it i think i want more today i want more sweetness i want less mintiness you're feeling sweet today i'm feeling sweet today wow rare occasion around here <laughs> all right I'm gonna give it a just okay as well. I actually kind of like what's going on in the glass. I wouldn't be surprised if this was like seventy to a hundred dollars. If it is a rye, mm. there is some complexity here. It's doing some twists and turns. It is a shape shifter a little bit, it, and it, it it's not coming through bright, young, anything like that. Mm -hmm. It's seeming to have a little bit of impact. Would I want to pay seventy or hundred bucks for it? Eh. That's why I'm just okay. Okay. But I'm not mad. I, it, it is good pour okay, for what it is. At? So in our pool, this is number 89. Okie dokie. We are looking at, oh my, Lanta. This is $125. I can, I mean, I'm, I can kind of see it. Yeah. Again, I don't want to pay it for it. So I'm going to stay just okay. But I wonder if it's pretty high proof. Is that, and that's why it's, Pricey. It could be proof. It could be age. You know, it, it could be a couple different things that add cost. It could be sourcing. It could mm -hmm. be all kinds of stuff. So let's find out what we're drinking. We're both just okay. okay. This is Little Book Chapter Five: The Invitation. Whoa! And you were right. This is in the one teens. It's one sixteen point eight proof. Yeah, but it's not a rye. It's not a rye. Um, and this is thanks to Nate Jurgensen. Thank you, Thank man. You, so, Little Book Chapter 5, I'm going to have to look this up as to what the mash bill entails, but they do some weird stuff with their... Could it be a high rye mash bill, do you think? It could. There is a definite mintiness on the, like, back end of the of the, the sips, like the second and third sip. Maybe that was proof, though. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Technically, this is a two-year whiskey, but it is a blend of two, three, five, and 15-year-old whiskeys. Okay. So it looks like it's got it's got bourbon, it's got rye, it's got all kinds of stuff going on in here. So there's a high likelihood that what we're tasting is we're getting those rye types of notes from the three-year rye that's mixed in. Mm. We're getting some of the two-year bourbon that's been mixed in. And then What's you've, the 15 year? It's a Kentucky bourbon from Jim Beam. So it's bringing some depth, some nuttiness, gotcha. all that stuff to wow. it. So, wow, okay. I've not had, admittedly, many little books that I can recall ever. I I, I I've had one or two pours in a bar with friends, but I've never owned a bottle of it, and I've never we've never tried a bottle on the channel. Mm -hmm. I think we're at the point where the second or third little book, I'm almost sure it was the third one, was incredibly well received by the community. If you like high proof, you know Booker's style pours. Mm -hmm. But all the other ones seem to be a little bit more hit and miss. It's like Jim Beam's experimental line. So that's what you kind of okay. end up paying for. And with this one at $125, again, I don't think it's a ripoff. But at the same time, I'm probably not going to run out and try to find a bottle. Yeah, I'm going to stay just okay. Like, I could take it or leave it. Yeah, I think if you're looking for something interesting and you run across it in a bar, on a menu... It might be worth checking out mm -hmm. if you like some of the things we said here. And if you like some of the things we said here, think about subscribing to the channel because yeah. these blind tastings are what we do over here all the time. While you're down there around that subscribe button, 
you know, leave a like, leave a comment if you've tried this. I'd really be yeah. interested to see. Let us know your thoughts on yeah. any of the little books. And if you've had multiple chapters, let us know which one you preferred. Yeah, and I really want to hear people's feedback on chapter five. So okay. that's that. Why that's your, your assignment. That, yeah, down there. And then also down there is a link to our Patreon. We've got an amazing community over on Discord. We do barrel picks that you can get over there. Mm -hmm. We've got all kinds of good stuff going on over on Patreon. Yep. Bonus content. The whole lot of it. The you can check things. it out down there. The and things. we've got apparel, glassware coming soon or already there, depending on stock situations over at stuffandwhiskey.com. And yeah. That's every, it. The, the, it's all down there. Just check it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thanks for watching. That's it for today. Be good to each other. And until next time. Cheers. cheers.